Hi guys, welcome back. So we're going to change Elizabeth out of this little dress today because I have to. Uh, my reason for saying I have to is because <clears throat> I'm trying to keep my mind occupied because I've, it's been a really long crazy day for me and I need to wrap my head around something and try the thoughts and try to stop myself from thinking and worrying so these babies can help in that department so we're gonna change her into this beautiful outfit that she's never worn before it's by next it's like a peachy pink color. It is so pretty. I love this name brand. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> we're going to put her into something a little more comfy and cozy. <sighs> My day hasn't ended since yesterday. My son is sick. He's running a really high temperature, and I didn't sleep all last night, which is so crazy because it's almost like I I felt something bad was going to happen. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced something like that before, but it's happened to me more times than what I would like to admit. And um, some people in my family call me a witch <laughs> because I can sometimes dream things and they come out exactly true. But um, as most of you know, I don't have much family. And the little that I do have, I treasure. Um, I have a sister. So my sister is really my cousin. The reason why we call each other sisters is because when I was very young, I lived in Puerto Rico at least three times growing up. <clears throat> and she was raised by my grandmother. So we would live with my grandma and of course she was there. And growing up, her and I somehow ended up always living in the same house. And then when my grandmother died, she came over to live with us in New York City. And then when my mom died, she had, um, she moved back in, and then when she graduated high school, she ended up having to move back in with me. So we've always been lit very close. We've, she's my sister, and I love her. And but she lives far from me. She lives in Long Island, and she lives near the Hamptons. If anybody's familiar with Long Island, I know Mia is, but she lives pretty far up. And for me, if, to get to her house, it would probably take me three hours driving. And so we don't see each other as often anymore because we live far away from each other and she's a workaholic and so is her husband. And a little about her, she um, had infertility issues and her and her husband really wanted to have a baby and she went through it all just like I did but for her it never happened she would lose the baby IVF wouldn't work IUIs she did the works and so she has an amazing marriage and they're like so kitty friendly that they're very loving and they're a couple that would make excellent parents and so last November God blessed her with a beautiful little girl uh, they adopted her they were able to be in the delivery room when the baby was born and take her home from the hospital which was pretty amazing for our family and everybody was oh my god in tears overjoyed 
Gracie was is a little gift in our family and so last night I couldn't sleep at all and I always think of her and we text and whatever but I could not stop thinking about her no matter I mean I would get up I would watch a YouTube video turn on the TV try to watch a movie somehow we end up thinking about Gracie or and I I can't, I can't, I remember clearly last night saying, what is it? Why can't I stop thinking about Gracie? I need to go see her and I need to go see my sister. And <clears throat> this morning my son wakes up and he's not feeling well. He has a fever and I had to run a few errands today. And while I was driving in the car, I'm like, why do I keep thinking about my sister? I have to call her, but I'm like, I'm going to wait until <clears throat> she comes out of work. So, <clears throat> sorry, I'm checking the camera. Um, because I know she's not going to answer the phone. And so the thoughts were nonstop. It was like, literally, like she was in my head and would not leave her, the baby. It was a really uncomfortable feeling for me that by 6 o'clock in the morning, I was already praying, saying, God, please let her be okay. Or because I was freaking my own self out with how many thoughts, memories of us playing as little girls in the, in the oddest way, which freaked me out a little bit because things like this have happened to me before and it's never good. Another weird thing is that out of nowhere, <clears throat> yesterday she texts me and basically only says, um, Myra Gracie wants to see her titi, you know, she wants to see her auntie out of nowhere and I'm like and I wrote back and I responded oh I want to see her too as soon as I can I'm gonna go over there and but she never really texts me things like that or I can't wait no more we want to see you now things like that which I found odd so fast forwarding to today um a little while ago I got a call that she's having brain surgery tomorrow morning and I'm sorry, but that shit just, oh my god, it just freaked me out. I'm sorry for the bad word, but, oof, I was bawling my eyes out. Oh my god, if something happens to that girl, I'll go nuts. But, um, apparently she's been suffering from a headache. And, let me start dressing the baby. And she says that she's been going to the doctor these past two weeks because, the headaches have been so bad but you know a headache is who doesn't get a headache once in a while and I'm an expert on headaches so the doctors kept sending her home with Tylenol like really strong painkillers and it, it it wasn't working she says so two days ago she went back to the doctor saying okay I've never gotten a headache this bad in my life something's up and again they sent her with ibuprofen this time but then yesterday she the headache got to the point where she felt like she was gonna go nuts and mind you she's they have the baby and um, it's just her her husband and the baby and she couldn't take care of Gracie and she said I knew something was wrong when I started throwing up and she went early this morning because she still had the headache and she insisted on getting tests done and the second the scan comes up it appears that she has a brain bleed she's bleeding inside of her head and it, the pressure of it is giving her the bad headaches. Like, you hear everybody say things like that go through scares in life or that pass on, like appreciate every day or treat it like it's your last. And, you know, you hear that, but you never really, you don't focus on that every single day on that thing. But it is so true. It can be a normal, perfect day. 
and out of nowhere things happen and only God knows why and I will never question God because he knows better than anyone but I just really need her to be okay I only have three adults in my life which is my oldest daughter my brother and her and one other cousin who I love a lot but that's it that's my family tree and so please help me pray that she makes it out of the surgery tomorrow morning okay I think I've slept two hours within the last three days two hours so my nervous system is all messed up as it is because of that so for me to drive right now it's a little bit scary but if I have to do it I'm gonna do it and so back to Elizabeth this is why I'm doing this video I needed to wrap my head around something that wasn't scary thoughts and Elizabeth She, she helps in ways that not many would understand, but, but I do. And I'm going to leave that story alone. Thank you for whoever stood long enough in the video. And yeah, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to Elizabeth. It fit her perfect. I was going to put her a onesie underneath, but I forgot. Comb her pretty little hair. I still have to change her body out. I don't like this body. And then she has this has like gray on it. I don't like this pink. Let me see. Maybe I can just put her the little, because it has a clip in the back, so maybe I can just put her that. She, she does have a magnet. There she goes. Oh my gosh, Galinda. She's so cute. Doesn't she look pretty? <laughs> oh my god. I also got a package today. I just opened it I know what it is I just took off the tape to make it easy on all of us but I'll show you checking the time where is it oh, right here I think um it's mohair and I'm a little nervous to be honest because I um I never really like to bid on eBay for, especially for hair because you never know what you're gonna get and you know there's a lot of sadly a lot of dishonest people on eBay but it was too good to pass up and I figured you know what it's not even that expensive so if it turns out not to be good it wasn't that bad it's not like I paid an arm and a leg for it so I took a chance and I bid on it and I won the bid the, I won the auction, so let's check this out. Oh, I thought it was one bag. Wow. Look at this. Okay. I thought I was bidding on one bag. Apparently not. Feels, it's curly. It doesn't smell bad. That's good actually. Oh wow. Let me see this. Ah. Check out these little white lady locks. It's the wavy kind, which I was thinking of using wavy. I always use straight hair on the babies, but I wanted to do a baby with wavy hair, like really curly. 
because I've never done one like that before and I think this hair would be really good. It's really soft. Wow. Much softer than the other mole hair that I have. So that looks promising. And it's three bags. It's like a... It's brown, like... But not dark. It's not too dark. It still has little hints of like auburn in it and like dirty blonde and I know the camera is not going to pick up but it, oh. but anyway I paid what was it less than $20 for these three bags considering how much I've paid in the past for more hair <clears throat> I think that's pretty good and that was that Oh, I'm going to show you one other thing. Hold on. So, Buggy was here the other day. And she was playing with the Itty Bitty Twins. The My Jelly Babies. And by accident, she sat on the passy. His little passy. And it cracked. Because it's made out of... It looks like polymer clay. I've done a lot of miniatures with polymer clay. So, I can tell that that's what they use to make these. So it cracked and I went and I took glue and I glued it back together, but I wanted a more real, I want a more realistic looking one that looks more like a real passy. So I was, because I couldn't sleep last night, I started messing around with my polymer clay and these are just rough drafts. I just wanted to see how they baked. So I ended up, these are a little bigger. But I ended up doing these two little, like, rough drafts, and I curved it. Instead of it being flat, I made a little curve. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. But it's a test run and see what I can come up with. If I am able to accomplish this little craft, I will definitely show you guys in a later video. But that's what I was doing. <clears throat> Last night, playing with Paula McClay in my kitchen at 4.30 in the morning. Katie's dinner and the dog and get some soup for Lucas. And, yeah, Elizabeth looks so pretty. I love this outfit. It fit her so cute. And, yeah, guys, thank you for listening to me. I know this video was a little bit depressing. But, it is what it is. And as always, the babies and I will see you in our next video. Bye, guys.